Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new flea market toy hunting video. Yeah, I have been very active in terms of um, going to flea markets and acquiring stuff and showing it to you. Um, so I have no idea when this video will be out. I'm filming this in like mid-late October and it was like in the beginning of October. So maybe this will just be out in December. I have no idea because I have so many <laughs> uh, flea market uh, episodes, you could say. Uh, but let's jump into it. Um, this weekend that I'm gonna show you stuff from today uh, or in this video or I don't know if it will be two videos, let's see. Um, the first day I went to a children's flea market that I actually got a tip <laughs> from um, from cotton candy kittens um, so I meet her very often now at the flea market and one day she she told me that hey there's this children's flea market at a um, primary school and it's a special school it's like an international school so she had found a lot of stuff each year they're doing it and I went there and I also met her and this time I was pretty lucky I at least I consider it uh, being very lucky um, so let's roll the footage. It could not have started any better. Right away, an array of colorful things and a G2, my little pony. Yeah, and Barbie stuff. Um, I already picked it out here, so there was more, but this is the only vintage stuff, but amazing. <laughs> yes, a generation two pony. Um, I didn't immediately film it because I always feel a little bit awkward around like tons of children um, then getting out the camera so that I just filmed at the very like end when I had everything laid out that I wanted to get from this one um, like family or well, it was actually two families so uh, so the pony is something else than the other Barbie stuff that you saw um, but this was actually the very first thing I saw from far away I was like oh there is some 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 hair mostly then it's not a pony but this time it was um yeah this is princess crystal so from the generation two ponies she's from 1999 she belongs into the um princess line of ponies you can see that by the tinsel in the hair and i actually already have this pony it was one of the first uh, g2 ponies that i got myself I love the color combination. She's very like unique and the super strong purple and then this neon um, yellow. But um, mine, although I got her from a collector back then, um, has pretty cut hair. So I always styled it in like kind of a mohawk style. And now I have her with her original hair length. So I totally consider this a win. She has both of her crystals in the eyes. Uh, her symbols are in way better condition than the one that I have. And she has her original hair length. Um, yeah, this, this tinsel hair from G2 is like, it's bad. <laughs> but when you, um, like you can go through it with a heat, like with a straightening iron, with a flat iron. Um, it straightens it a tiny bit, but it's still pretty crinkly. But yeah, Princess Crystal. And yeah, this little pile of um, Barbie goodness. Yeah, what is it actually? Um, as of course, they're children. They had more like um, newer Barbie stuff. But upon like like grabbing and digging in that box, there were a couple of 90s or like early 90s, late 80s uh, things in. And at first, a thing I I was uh, like I saw is <gasps> this. I know this, I mean, it even says it. It says Mitch here. This is from the Barbie and the Beat line. So there was this, it's kind of a little bit uh, like the, um, is it predecessor? No, the, what, what is it that comes later? Anyways, that followed a little bit in the footsteps of um, the Barbie and the Rockers. So Barbies uh, and Bar Barbie and the friends having like a rock band or something. And this is, I, I have a couple of the outfit pieces. I also have a um, fashion set 
And the cool thing is a lot of the stuff glows in the dark. So these little, can you see them? These light spots here, they will glow in the dark. I guess also the white from, from the name. So this is obviously from, from Midge's outfit. I have also part of her outfit. I have a huge chunk of her outfit. So now I can add the jacket to it. I can add the guitar. This is the guitar that goes to Mitch. I can add this little ruffle that uh, is like a petticoat under, over this skirt and under this, whatever. I'm still missing parts of it. I'm missing like another skirt part and I'm missing like uh, like warmers, etc. But I have this. And then, yeah, at first I thought, oh, these might be the shoes. Uh, they're not. <laughs> these are the shoes that go to that. So. Barbie and the Rockers, uh, Barbie and the Rockers, Barbie and the Beat Mitch. Um, I still also picked up these orange shoes. Lovely, all like typical 90s heels, 90s pumps, red ones, and uh, pink ones, hot pink ones, or dark, dark, hot, whatever. Then I picked up one sock. Yep. Uh, do you remember uh, me picking up uh, the Super Gymnast Barbie and just having one sock for her? Well, now I can add another sock to her, so that's good. I picked up these black boots. They are definitely uh, in the same mold as most of the Barbie like Western boots, but I guess they are not um, real because their material is a little bit more flimsy and they don't have the typical, usually when they're real Barbie, you can read Barbie here in the carving, carvings, whatever. Um, still pick them up because I like them. And then a couple of brushes, two Barbie brushes, a little pearlescent one and the super hot um, neon orange one which might go to that and then just two cute ones that i have no idea where they come from this is a little like seahorse and this is a little whale probably not from barbie i have no idea but i just i love cute toy combs and brushes and from the girly toys we get to the uh, action figures so it was a street shark. I at first didn't see it, but Cotton Candy Kittens told me there was one. And uh, because I was like immediately like drawn to the Star Wars, because there's so many like a three and three, uh, three and three quarter inch Star Wars figures, like the ones I collect. So they are vintage ones. That's for example a vintage one. So vintage ones refer to the ones like from 77 up until 83 or 85, four ish, uh, so from the first trilogy. But there's also. Um, uh, prequel ones which are from my childhood and you see it there's old box ah oh, yeah vintage han solo vintage han solo amazing and the prices were really good <laughs> uh, uh, what else ah oh, yeah the boba fett i have a couple of boba fetts or yeah couple of uh, ones that i have i also have this one this is a bit fortuna a vintage one uh this cape yeah, there's the cape. I will talk about this cape again <laughs> because I will buy it, but then it's gone. You will see um, another Darth Vader. So basically I tried to get a pile together of uh, ones that I didn't have because I don't pick up doubles, but um, uh, I like all eras uh, in this uh, size. So that was perfect. Uh, I think there were more action figures to the right, but the only other interesting one for me was then the three chart and the Star Wars ones because like vintage Star Wars figures for two euro fifty okay you don't see that every day I was talking to the, um, to the seller there um, very good score and <gasps> Well, the first things I picked up were clearly girly <laughs> stuff. The next, like a vendor, were two boys, two brothers and their um, uh, parents. And they had lots of cool boy toys. So um, the street shark, I almost didn't see it. Like, I don't know if I, because I immediately like was like, <gasps> Star Wars. <laughs> I just didn't see that there was a street shark and um, Cotton Candy Kittens. She was with me at that time uh, there. She was like, oh, here, this is uh, one of those, uh, they are also cool, do you know them? And I was like, ah, I actually kind of collect them, yeah. Um, this is a, like, I mean, I said it, it's a street, street shark, it's Ripster. And uh, the pool, what's the name? Pool, 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 pool shark? What's it called? Pool shark, I have no idea. It's from 1996. 
uh, the line was called pool shark, I don't know why. Uh, he's wearing that very cool leather jacket and these trousers and I don't know, he's just cool. It's a toy line made by Mattel in the like mid 90s, I would say, as he's from 1996. Um, uh, based on a TV show or the other way around the TV show was based on the toys no matter what um, Pretty popular also spun a, a spin-off line um, Or spin-off TV show and then toy line the extreme dinosaurs, so they are kind of connected um, But I like I love dinosaurs, but kind of prefer the street sharks They are just I don't know, they, they, they have amazing sculpts. They are really big which makes them for me a little bit stand out amongst my I don't know, Star Wars, etc. So the smaller ones, uh, <laughs> they are kind of designed to like, yes, they could eat up a turtle because it was the time when they were designed to like, turtles were big, you know, the anthropomorphic uh, animals and they designed sharks. I mean, they came a little bit later than, than the turtles, obviously. Um, yeah, they're just awesome and they're so cool. So uh, I think it's my, fourth street shark now, right? Yeah, I think so. And yeah, lots of Star Wars. Um, I, I At first I just saw, oh, there are a couple of uh, the ones that are from uh, like the prequels. So the end of the 90s, but then I like dig, like dug deeper. And there are also some real vintage ones. I think I will also just zoom in on them, easier. So let's start with the newest ones, which I also still really love. So we have here this Cat Bane um, from the Clone Wars. You might also know Cat Bane from the Book of Boba Fett if you've watched that show. Uh, he's this bounty hunter. And then this outfit he is disguising as a clone trooper. It's also his like Cat Bane disguise outfit. He's from, outfit, whatever. He's from um, 2011, no. Wait, yeah, yeah, 11. Then we have this, um, this one's from 2010, also from a Clone Wars, um, from the Clone Wars line, uh, the, the undead Geonosian, so it's a Geonosian from Geonosis, alien. And uh, there's this Clone Wars arc, which is a little bit even like a horror zombie story. And yeah, there are these undead uh, creatures. So, and I picked this one up because I think it's just <laughs> creepy. <laughs> um, then the ones from uh, the prequels, we have this young Obi-Wan. Uh, it's cool, he even has a little strand of real hair and a little bit of fabric here. So typical Obi-Wan Kenobi, episode one. We have Newt Gunray, also episode one, you know, the vice president of the Federation, um, Trade Federation. And here we've got Palpatine, who is uh, quickly then becoming uh, the emperor, etc. But he is still senator. Not even, um, not even chancellor yet, but it's Palpatine. And let's make way for the vintage ones. Uh, we have this guy. Um, so let's see this, this, and this. Yeah, they are all from um, the Empire. No, not the Empire Strikes Back. They're from um, Return of the Jedi. So they're from 83. And I think this one in the middle from 84. So we have um, a Quarren or Squid Head, as they were called back then. I actually also have his cape. I got it together in this lot, just a little like beige cloth cape, but I kind of misplaced it. Honestly, I I washed it and then let it dry somewhere and I can't, for the heck of it, can't remember where I put it. So it's somewhere here. I just cannot show it to you, just a little cloth piece. Um, this is a... Uh, ATST driver, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, this is General Madina, so uh, kind of known for the worst haircut in all Star Wars. <laughs> uh, he's from the Rebels, so these are uh, this one's obviously Imperial, and here we've just got an alien. I think uh, he's yeah, he was. Uh, I, you could see him in the movie uh, on Jabba Sail 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 Bark. Um, yeah, but the coolest, I think, honestly, is this one because this is Han Solo and he is like also the oldest one of, of all of them it's from the like really from the first uh, release Star Wars toys so from eight, 
I think from 77, 78, that's when they came out. Uh, and the cool thing is I also have the original look. I have now the original Leia, got it at Star Wars Celebration, and now I have the original Han. Um, there were actually two versions of Han. So this is the one with the big head, uh, kind of the second release. And the first release had a different head sculpt. I couldn't find out why they changed it. Um, the other one looked better. This is a little bit, I don't know. The other one looked a little bit more smarter, had like a parting in the middle of his hair. I don't know, but um, yeah, these are the Star Wars toys that I got. And um, honestly, at first I was like, oh, do I really want to spend 22 or whatever Euro this was like at a flea market right here. But with so many Star Wars figures, like two Euro 50 per figure, you can't beat that, especially like with the vintage ones. Like vintage Star Wars figures for two Euro 50, it's very unlikely that you will find that very often at flea markets, so. And from the action figures, back to the dolls. Yeah, 80s Barbie goodness. Um, I think three dolls uh, in there. So this is um, a, an older skipper. Uh, there is uh, this brown haired one from the mom from the Hart family. Uh, and there's also a Hart family baby and uh, tons of um, clothes. You, you don't see that uh, right now, but there are also like pairs of shoes, which is always a good sign. Um, all of it actually in really good condition. So I didn't hesitate and <laughs> I picked up the whole box of 80s Barbie goodness. Also still at this actually very small um, children's flea market in front of the school, like in the schoolyard, there was this box. And this box of Barbie, vintage Barbie was amazing. Um, so, Let's not start with the box itself. Obviously, I've taken most of it out of the box already. So, let's start with her. This is the uh, Hart family mom. So, um, I found her like her outfit uh, actually at the last flea market already, but not in as good condi condition as this is. So, the lace was pretty yellow. And I didn't even know that there were these tiny little uh, patterns on it. Uh, she also, uh, now I have the doll obviously and the dress again and one of the babies and she is in pretty good condition. The hair, all of the dolls from this box, the hair is, it's played with. You can just say that they were, see that they were played with. But the outfits, I mean this was on the skipper I think, etc. You saw that one. Um, but a lot of original pieces. So uh, the Hart family. Oops, the Hart family is actually a kind of spin-off thing, or was it, of, of Barbie? Because Barbie herself um, should not have really a family. I mean, she, she had sisters and a boyfriend, but she was not supposed to get married or have children, etc. Mattel didn't want that. So uh, in the mid-80s, uh, so 85, that's when she was released, uh, they created the Hart family. There was the mom, there was the dad, um, and there were actually yeah two children and throughout the rest of the 80s until i think the last sets were released in 89 uh, they came out with different versions of them different outfits there were fashion packs there were lots of um you know little play sets etc and um, i can show you a tiny bit of it so uh familia herz that's what were the that's uh, how they were called in um uh, in german um Heart family. You can see her. I also have this outfit. I don't have the guy and I don't have the male um, uh, baby toddler here. Um, and then you see different outfits, different playset things here from fashion packs, etc. 
so this was also one of the outfits or a different doll directly so and I'm not too too crazy about this whole kind of toy line um, because it has never been one of my things as a child to play this, you know, mother, father, child thing. It wasn't really, and I'm still not too much into this wholesome, just, you know, family aesthetic. I, I like family and all of that, but uh, in terms of dolls, I really like my dolls actually to be more fashionable or whatever, because her outfit, you can see it. Although it's really fashionable for the 80s with a very low waistline and the huge collar and stuff like that. Uh, it's very, it's very modest, it's very, you know, she has tights and long dress and like not, nothing too flashy etc. So definitely nothing sexy at all. Um, but the doll itself is really beautiful. Her face mold, um, I think her face mold was also used for Jazzy, which was one of the kind of cousins of Barbie later on anyways. Uh, well not later on, also in the 80s. Uh, I think her face is beautiful. Did I show it to you up close already? Yeah, and this is even her original hairband. It was also in there. I think Skipper had it in her hair, but the mom was released with this one. So this is also an original outfit from the baby. Um, not the one that she was released with, but it's, you know, there's another one. Let me at first um, grab all of the fashion things that I think go to that um, go to that family. So this would be another little uh, suit for, for the male baby, so for the boy. Uh, this goes to one of them. Uh, here are two little diapers, so that's definitely proof that she had also actually the set with daddy and everything. This uh, and this both interestingly enough goes to a fashion set from the family fashions the hiking set this is something where you would it's, it's not really meant to really fit the baby but you would put the baby in and then wear it like give it the doll as a kind of backpack so they could go hiking but this is also to mother heart family and this one as well it's from the same set uh, <laughs> Uh, interesting but all of the rest and then there's a lot of stuff in that I cannot identify there's also like little teeny tiny things like you know play things like shovel and you know for the beach or whatever that I cannot really tell if that might also go to the heart family we will quickly go through that uh, in the end these are the maybe this one maybe this one also goes to heart family baby um but there were more dolls you saw it loving you barbie yeah i mean depending on which video i upload first etc you might have already seen her because i actually also bought her online and now i found her in a even better condition at the flea market if I would have known that like but how, but how? Um, so yeah um, yeah this is loving you Barbie or Herzchen Barbie in uh, German she's from 83 84 I think 83 uh, she's a very classic Barbie that's her original outfit uh, she came with this high ponytail uh, What's way better about this doll, she doesn't have any discolorations at, at, uh, at the legs than the other one that I have. She comes with her original shoes, though this could also be the shoes from the Hart family mom. They came with the same uh, mules and uh, she has both of her earrings. Her lips are way better conditioned, they're really red and also she has, no, the other side, the ring and the velvet is, is so, so in such good condition. The whole outfit is in such good condition, no rips, not dirty at all, it wasn't dirty at all. Uh, as I said, the velvet is not uh, rubbed off or anything. Her hair, that was the only thing that was not in as good condition. Uh, it is obviously the typical 80s Saran hair, um, so it still looks good. 
but it doesn't feel good <laughs> when you go here it's it's very rough and I just you know gave it a little bit of a curl but um, yeah original hairstyle she has such a beautiful face typical 80s Barbie uh, and this outfit is just iconic and Skipper um, they really I mean they are sisters but in this case you could really play with them like sisters they even have the same hair color and everything um, this is a little bit difficult to identify for me the Skipper uh, she's definitely 80s for sure um, but from the face she could be two different skippers uh, my guess is that she is the um, sea love and skipper from 84 let me check again um well 85 more like 85 but 84 had the great shape skipper which looks exactly the same from the face and hair so here she is she has already the puffy like big huge bangs from the from the 80s and the 90s whereas previous skippers had really straight bangs uh, she also came with a high ponytail in both versions just a little bit of a curl not really curl just a little bit of a wave i gave her also her hair is not in a good condition anymore it was i think it was just played with all the rest is in really good condition especially the outfits i put her here on this outfit which is you can see you can see it has an s it is a real skipper outfit from the um so active fashions from 1984 so around the same time as she was released um and i love to put the sunglasses on her these sunglasses uh, which i'm not sure <laughs> uh, if uh, to what outfit they go but they're definitely also skipper and i think it looks amazing um the mary team or, or sea love and skipper actually had a a very nautical outfit you know white blue striped a little bit of red uh, and what makes me think that she is actually the one is this little sack which was in the lot which goes to sea love and skipper it's the only outfit uh, or the only part that really goes to her but that makes me believe that this is the sea love and skipper um, now we will come to all of the rest of the stuff that was in there because there are a couple of cool outfits in there um, maybe you can identify a little bit i kind of gave up for a couple of the things so here's this little um i guess pajama sleepwear set lingerie a little bit it's not barbie i guess but i have seen it a couple of times sold online together kind of a bra a little sheer uh, top and then the trousers um, but they are definitely like early 80s or something like that so it's pretty cute when you put it on then we have this this is this is so cool um you think uh, why two of the same no this the bigger one obviously can fit barbie it also has the barbie b here so this is from the b active fashions also 84 uh, and this is the skipper version of it so this is the it has the s here so this is the so active fashions from 84 be active was always like the Barbie part and so active was the skipper part so you could really dress the two up as sisters and this would be would have been so cute this is amazing um, typical 80s we have more 80s stuff yep it's another skipper outfit also from the so active uh, fashions from skipper you can read the little s here I don't know if you can really see that but see it uh, with this little skirt and I have also the matching Barbie version to it I have to be active fashion version I have to do like a sisters shooting with these outfits they're not really special but I have the matching Barbie outfit to that um, then there are a couple of things I guess this is probably homemade I cannot really tell but it looks like it's pretty good but it looks very homemade to me a little dress they probably wanted to do something out of this <laughs> uh, or you could just use it as a blankie um, this dress is it's cute but it's also it's just a clone dress so it's not real Barbie it doesn't have any tags or anything from the material I guess it might be Steffi Love or something similar so but it's nice um, then we have something that I for sure thought would be a matching uh, set because we have this lovely rainbow um yeah towel then 
like a little baby version and then mid, I don't know, maybe skipper version of the same kind of a swimsuit. And we have these trousers that are the same color. You could put them over, then it would be not just a swimsuit anymore. And then we have this pink heart, which kind of goes to all of this. But it's not a, it's, it, I couldn't find out. Whoop, editing Lau here. So <laughs> actually way after I filmed this video, I did find out that it actually in fact belongs to a heart family set. But I had searched for like, like floaties and then bath themed uh, things for the heart family. And I, yeah, then I came across this, but it didn't really click because from the picture on the front of the box, it looks so different. The uh, towels have a completely different pattern and it all looks very dark. But if you closely look at it, you can see this little boy in there has the heart floaty. The mom is wearing the um, bath, um, the swimsuit and the dad is wearing the trunks and on the right hand side you can see all of it together so confirmed it belongs to the heart family but it also goes to something else so the towel also goes to something else this actually came with a uh, fashion pack from 89 called uh, the fashion uh, starters just with a la lavender swimsuit and this so this is barbie um, then there are more pieces that remind me of like nautical stuff, which I thought, oh, then it's definitely maritime uh, skipper, so uh, sea loving skipper. But all of this stuff apparently does not go to it. And we have this little sack. And there's so many tiny things in, like all these shells. Oops, can you see that? Uh, and this, you know. Or at the beach there's like a beach place set with a little blankie and all of this stuff but I, I, I for the heck of it I cannot find out and there are two belts a red one and a white one and so I thought oh so a hundred percent maritime skipper with this but only this goes to her so I don't know where actually this stuff all goes to. Oh yeah, this self-made undie here, which also would totally go to the nautical vibe. Uh, we have this little striped number, no Barbie tag, cannot identify. Oh, this hat actually, this sun hat kind of again matches this, doesn't it? This beach outfit? Yeah, I don't know. Tons of shoes, not tons, but um, a lot. So these definitely would go to one of the skipper outfits here. Um, these ones maybe as well, although also Barbie kind of fits in them, these flats. Um, then a couple of like uh, fake shoes. So these are, um, these are just some clone shoes. So not real ones. Then some really strange and ugly shoes that don't even fit Barbie. They don't go to like on, on Barbie's feet. Uh, same as this one. I also have it in red again. Um, more of these um, pilgrims here, the fake ones. Uh, another one of the mules, but also fake, so not real. When, when they have these, these holes in the body, you can always tell that they are not real ones. And another pair of sandals, red ones, that absolutely do not fit Barbie and also not, not Skipper or any other doll. And another one of, of, of them in white this little drinking bottle that maybe goes to the heart family could be then we have this little whale again a little bit more maritime uh, or um, you know nautical themed uh, this little ducky top which fits skipper it also fits barbie so i don't know and <laughs> this is just a little uh you know accessory and uh yeah this hanger <laughs> Uh, so all really matching up so themes the themes are there but actually none of that really goes together so I was really like I didn't expect that so let's switch to the next day Ooh. hey guys this vendor is super interesting she has lots of like in packaged old dolls nothing barbie to be uh, to be honest but like steffi love look at those those are the ones with the baby belly i think i had one of those when i was little and then bärenhof 
This is also from Simba, if I'm not mistaken. No, I'm not sure. But look, this is like little, like miniature bears. I thought it's the one that it's a little bit like calico critters, because wasn't that also called Bärenhof? Oh, this is like, look at this fashion, <laughs> so 80s. <laughs> a children's ironing machine. I don't know, this is for Cindy. Oh, these are, oh wow. And still the old Cindy by Pedigree from, um, like, I don't know, 70s, probably 60s, 70s. There's riding hats and boots in there, all of those. These I have seen at my flea market already. Like at my local one, these light up wardrobes. And look at those old Mickey Mouse. What are they actually? They are by Mattel. Old Mickey Mouse. Uh, I mean, it's not, not a real camera, isn't it? <laughs> and then this was like a, what's that? But look, they are still carded old Petra fashions. Pelz und Leder mode. So it's like a fur and leather and it's real leather. Oh my gosh. I think it's all the same. It's all this leather stuff, but this is real leather. Most of them are pretty yellow, but like, and this was still Petra and was produced by Plasti. So uh, I don't know if there's a date on it, probably not. <coughs> but they are definitely from the 70s, I guess. This is what this reads to me, it's probably 70s. And a couple of uh, Zindi ones as well. So like Zindi Alpine holiday accessories, pedigree. Yeah. I'm not gonna buy any of them. They are not like, I don't know, I, I have no space for something like that. <laughs> And also the fashions itself, to me, they are like mm, leather fashion for dolls. I don't know. I mean, I really like leather, real leather. Uh, it's a wonderful material, but yeah, I know. I'm not gonna buy anything, but this is super interesting. Thank you. Sadly, not a vintage Polly Pocket, but this one is pretty cute. This is a big backpack. It's, I don't know, it's from 2018 or something, 19, maybe 20. I'm not opening it, I try, I try to do it and it folds open like a, like these fold open like wings and the figurines are in there. I'm not gonna buy it, guys. It's too big for not being vintage. Um, it's very, very cute, very, very cute. It's about the same size as the um, vintage, the Purple Heart, the um, wonderful wedding party. It's, it's about the same size. Ah, oh, here's another one. It's a donut. doesn't have figures in there. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I come back. This one might be something. But don't need to have it, obviously. Small plushies. Stand next to it had the, the other Polly Pockets, the new Polly Pockets. These are the old ones. Oh, so cute. There are no figures in there. Oh, this is... Yeah, they look good. They are not even really dirty or anything. Look, you probably was a hard sticker on it. Oh, they're so pastel. Love it. And lots of Christmas stuff. Yes, of course, Christmas is coming. <laughs> oh gosh. 
at one point I probably will also pick up something Christmas related at flea markets. Gosh, so kitschy. <laughs> I love the presents in there. Ta-da! Polly Pockets again. This time I really went so early to the flea market, like so early and I kind of, I think I got rewarded by finding these Polly Pockets. I bet if I would have been there 10 minutes later, they probably would have been gone because they were cheap. It's kind of the only times that I've that I found now Polly Pocket compacts that are quite cheap because I just paid five euro for the two of them. Uh, granted, yeah, they are empty. There's no doll in there, but I don't have them. Like, how crazy that I still find the Polly Pockets that I do not own. Um, and other than that, they're in pretty okay condition, so. Um, this is Polly's. This is Polly's uh, flat. They're both from 89, so the first year of Polly Pocket. The typical compact shapes that I actually really want to collect. This is the purple one here, the purple uh, round one. And ta-da! Very simple but very iconic. A flat, a typical flat. We have like a balcony, we have uh, the bed and the wardrobe, and there's stairs, and there's a nice cuckoo clock in there. This might be a shower here. Uh, then we have, looks more like a garden area, or maybe it's something, an open area or something. Uh, but also the kitchen probably here. And then like a living room with this cool <laughs> floor and probably a, a carpet or something with a nice round couch, a TV, and the only moving part in here, this door, <laughs> a nice orange door. Yeah, it will actually come with two figures, Polly and with uh, Tiny Tina. They kind of share this flat together. So, as most of them, like the logo is not in good condition anymore, it's almost completely rubbed off. A little bit, tiny bit remained, but like, you know, Bluebird toys, Polly Pocket, 89. And uh, this one, oops, you might think that I have that one already, but um, I just have uh, an orange like square compact because I have a variant. Yeah, um, there is Mitch's Play School, also 89, which comes most often in, um, in yellow, but there's an orange variant. I have both of them. This is actually, Holly's townhouse. Yeah, very classic. Again, it's again like a flat, but this one is, has more rooms. So apparently it's a townhouse. Here we have the uh, bathroom, bathtub and toilet. Then we've got chairs. There's another room. Here's this, probably the bed, the sleeping area. Another chair that goes down here to whatever that room is. But then we have multiple other level rooms here. Um, it's like uh, the middle part and then you could go to that side uh, into the kitchen. Is that even the kitchen? Yeah, it's 100% the kitchen. <laughs> even multiple places to sit and maybe to eat there. There's a sink. Uh, we have a couch area here. So both of these compacts are like really typical, like the what you would expect. A teeny tiny house uh, for Polly Pocket. The cool thing is that they actually have like two doors here. Um, both of them obviously open. So these are the movable elements. And what I especially like about those um, is they have a cohesive color palette. Um, they're not too all over the place with all colors. So it's obviously not very realistic, but they stuck to, to the um, light pink and like blue and dark blue. Here's a little bit more color, mainly and also in the um, like stickers. But I like the color palette of these roughly three, four colors. Um, same in the other one. Uh, can you actually see that? It is a little bit discolored, but I don't mind at all. Uh, can you see this heart here? Um, what's this, what the heart is, is actually the uh, f correct color. It's a tiny bit like lighter, uh, but the child apparently had stuck a, a heart on it and the rest of it has gotten like more like of a darker orange and now they peeled off the heart and it's like a little heart pattern and i obviously like i don't want to like bleach it back to its original state because it looks great and this is so charming to have this little heart on there so no i'm i'm not doing anything about it i love this little thing so again bluebird toys 
Polly's flat and Polly's townhouse, both from 89, both together for 5 euro. I was so freaking happy. So let's stop here because I decided again to make it a two-part video. Otherwise, you're probably gonna get too overwhelmed with all of my <laughs> my flea market stuff. So um, yeah, wasn't that a really well-rounded toy hunt until here? There were ponies, Barbie clothes, Barbies, Polly Pocket, Star Wars, action figures. Oh my goodness. So I hope you enjoyed it. And um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, then please do so. I do lots and lots and lots of these videos. Um, if you like all vintage, especially the girly toys, but you see I also pick up some of the action figures, then please consider subscribing and uh, hit the bell notification to really get notified when I upload new videos. And um, yeah, get it a like, give it a like, get it, give it a like and uh, a comment if you want. So see you in the next part. Or actually, because this will be definitely part of my um, Vlogmas series, so then actually see you already tomorrow, but probably the next part of this video won't be until a couple of days uh, in between. But um, anyway, see you there. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you real soon and may the toys be with you. Bye.